this over. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the first video that's going to be covering um, the basics of Lua. So, uh, firstly, I want to say uh, sorry I haven't been posting any videos in a while because uh, I've been having issues with my recording software and my editing software, I've just school, etc. Secondly, uh, thank you for 150 subs. Uh, it's 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 quite pleasing to know that people enjoy my content and uh, yeah. So uh, let's let's go. Okay, so we got kind of just like a platform that I'll probably crop soon. But for starters, um, what I'm going to show you is so I'm going to show you. So we're going to have a number generated. We're going to. I'm going to show you how to make for a number. Make a indicator light for an on-off signal, um, and we're going to do that with Lua. And we have our monitor. We need a two by two space for our microcontroller, and we'll need our battery. Just going to drop that off, and I'll also add a constant. On signal, just the side there, and now um, I'm just going to hook up all this kind of stuff for now, so that we don't have to worry about it later. So we've got all that. Okay, first, let's open our microcontroller editor, and let's call this Lua Essex. Um, then we're going to add three notes separate them we have our on off I'll just call this the indicator it's obviously an on off signal we have our number so it's called this the number and we have our video output let's call this our video now you don't have to use a 2x2 monitor you can use any monitor you want I'm just going to be using a 2x2 because it's uh, the most commonly used one First, let's get our composite, uh, not composite read, composite write. Composite write. Now, the thing with um, writing into Lua, comes to numbers, use channel 5 and start at channel 5 instead of channel 1. Reason being is that channels 3 and 4 write um, from the touch screen, so. I know we're not using touchscreen, but it's just a convenience, and if you get used to doing it even without touchscreen, then you won't have to worry about remembering to do it with touchscreen. So we've got our Lua script, let's edit our script, get rid of all of this, all this uh, spare stuff that we don't need. There we go. So we've got our um, we got our basics. Won't worry about the errors uh, because there's no code to execute. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to so you have our on tick and our on draw our on tick is working with math and inputs and seeing if things are on or off or what the value is every tick on draw is pretty much what it will draw to the um, screen so first we're going to get Let's just copy this, copy both of these. Reason being, because we have, we have a, um, we have a boolean, which is our on-off signal, and we have our number, which is a number signal. So, our boolean was on channel 1, and our number was on channel 5. So these numbers kind of just re represent the channel numbers, so let's call this, let's call this, toggle let's put an equals in the middle and let's put this number I could spell okay cool so that's actually all we have to do for the on tick now the next thing to do is we're going to we let's say we want to draw a number so first what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing called screen dot draw text and so what this does, it draws text at x, y. 
Um, each character is 4 pixels wide and 5 pixels tall. So let's just paste that in. Now our text, well we want our text to be the number. We've set that the actual number input is equal to the variable number. So there we go. Next um, we'll want to specify a position. I'm just going to do 2-2. Two, two. And the way that it draws it is it draws it from the top left corner so let's say up here and it draws it to the down to the right so at 2 2 it will go 2 pixels across and 2 down y being your vertical um, and x being your horizontal if we uh we check our errors just save that for basics Get our lower basics. Let's plug this in. So we've got our stuff, our video, and if we spawn this in, we see that we have drawn a number on the screen at the position 22. Two. And if we enter a different number, let's say 123, we have our value 123. So that's how you draw numbers. Um, there are better ways of doing it and there are more complicated ways of doing it. Um, but that is the easiest way to draw a number onto the screen. Next, I'm just going to get a uh, wick. Let's, let's, let's make this indicator. So firstly, um, let's draw a build rectangle. And let's see where it is. Let's see where it spawns. So let's let's go x value of two. I'm gonna do a y value of ten. I'll do twenty and twenty. So it'll draw it as the default color, which is white because we haven't specified a color. We see we get our square. So there we go. Let's, uh, let's work on the parameters for changing it. So when it comes to these kinds of statements, um, or this code here, you can either do it as a, this only shows up if this is true, or you can do it that the color changes depending on it, on it, if it's true or not. So we're going to do something where it'll say, Hey, look, if this is on it'll draw it'll set the screen color to green so that this is green if it's not it'll set it to red which means that this is red so look, we'll type if pretty much saying if blah 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 so if toggle is equal to and use two of these use two equal signs a true Then, so if this is true, so if this is on, then, and we will get a screen set color, and we'll do zero, 255, zero. We'll do else. Pretty much says otherwise, which is our um, if it's off, and we'll do the same thing, but we'll do it as red. Check the errors, I expect the symbol there, blah blah blah. Ooh, all right, always remember this. Um, as someone who comes from doing a bit of Python coding, it's hard but just remember that if you have an if statement or a try statement or something like that um always put end pretty much end that statement so see if this works there we go so we've got our um got our stuff as you can see it works um the reason that it's drawing the number because we haven't specified a color for 
the number. So let's just set that at 200, 200 and 200 so that that's always drawing at white. Here we go. So we can change our indicator. And there is a sl very, very slight delay, but that's okay. So we have our small keypad. Let's say, let's put in a number. Let's put in 400. There we go. We turn our toggle button on. There we go. Turn it off. Let's put in a negative number. Let's do that. There we go. We have a negative number and we can, we can mess around with it. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's how you make indicator lights and draw numbers. Um, in Lua, so that's yeah, that's that's the very basics, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.